A better bionic hand for a bargain. That's the goal of a startup here in Illinois. It's hoping to touch lives of those who may not otherwise be able to afford this type of technology. CBS 2's Audrina Bigas shows us how. I'm retired Sergeant Garrett Anderson, U.S. Army, and I was injured in Iraq in 2005. That's when life began to look different for Garrett Anderson. He lost his right arm and part of his forearm when an improvised explosive device blew up under his truck while on patrol duty. He's adapted with this prosthetic hook. I have all my held my wife's hand with my right with my right arm since I got blown up. But this bionic hand. What's on? All right. Gives him that sensation back. He can flex the fingers because of tiny motors and gears inside. He's one of the first to test the hand made by Psionic. Open it back up. All right. When Garrett thinks about moving um, his hand till he make a fist, our hand can recognize that. He can grab things like this water bottle. Everything that I'm holding here costs only $550 in raw materials to make, um, and it's comparable to uh, prostheses that are sold for $30,000. That's the biggest difference. They're able to keep the cost down by using materials like rubber and silicone. What's your biggest obstacle right now? Well, right now our biggest obstacle is that we're going to have to go through FDA approval. <laughs> Psionic needs approval before it can head to market. Then the hope is for this to be covered under health insurance policies. Our goal is to make it so that it's at no out-of-pocket cost to users. Psionic hopes amputees can use this hand beginning in 2019 and to help make sure it gets to the people who need it the most, they're crowdfunding online. We've put the link on CBSChicago.com. Live in the newsroom, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News, Robin Erica. This wow, thing that is so cool. Is so incredible, Audrina. And so affordable. That's amazing. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you. you.